Hello everybody, greetings, welcome back. Will DeGraw, yoga teacher, Tai Chi instructor. Welcome back for another session, another experience of the fusion of yoga and Tai Chi, the experience of wellness for all of us in spirit, mind, and body. <clears throat> Today we're going to focus a little bit more on Tai Chi, Qigong but yet also include the experience of yoga and the yoga practice. I find a lot of similarities between the two, but yet there are certainly differences. And while that certainly is a, a dissertation for a master's or a doctorate degree, the experience across the years, thousands of years in both of those practices is about movement, wellness, and enlightenment. So today what we're going to do is focus in a little bit more on the Tai Chi Qigong, which comes from China, or Asia in general, and then of course the, the inclusion of yoga, which predominantly uh, has its roots in India. And as I said, they really stretch thousands of years and have its true application here in our Western world as we work all towards and move towards that power of wellness integrating who we are in many domains of life. So welcome, it's always an honor and privilege. Thank you for inviting me to uh, share the gift of yoga and Tai Chi. We're gonna stand, uh, start off in uh, our seated pose of Wuji, which is comparable to uh, uh, Chair Tadasana. And the alignment points are quite comparable, and the really only concluding position is uh, where our hands go across our belly button in Wuji for Tai Chi. So let us begin. Hands are on our knees. Knees are stacked over our ankles. Knees in line with our hip points. We rock back and forth on our sits bones, anchoring and securing, feeling grounded and rooted, feeling the presence of home, feeling that essence of safety, a rootedness, a centeredness, a safe haven, a sense of gathering and anchoring ourselves into our presence of the heart center, which is really the true essence of our home. And today's theme is really about finding true happiness, accepting true happiness within who we are as a person. So our theme chant will be accept true happiness. That's our theme today and that's our chant. So now we've come to a neutral spine. We take our palms to our lower back, our kidneys, and our fingertips are pointing down. Elbows are, elbows are out to the side body and just by pressing into our kidneys, our lower back, we feel that alignment from our sits bones to our shoulders. And here in this presence, we're just anchoring and securing, and once again, feeling grounded and rooted, but with true alignment. And on the next breath cycle, we slide our fingertips down into our seat cushion. That tilts our tailbone into the chair, and our pelvis points come up. And now one hand comes to the lower back and one hand comes to the belly. Belly button to spine, belly button zips up to your heart center, to your core. You take your hands to your side body, floating your ribs up from your sits bones to your shoulder points. Floating, inviting buoyancy of those intercostal muscles to elongate upward, ascending. Now your right hand comes to your left shoulder and your left hand comes to your right shoulder. This is the dream big pose. So your elbows are pointed forward and in the experience of the dreams that are deep within the recesses of who we are, whether they've come true or they're still there, they seek manifestation, they seek fruition. So think of all the dreams in our lives right now and right here. And we're gonna blink three times with our chin to the chest, inviting them to come true. So on the next breath cycle, inhale and exhale, chin to chest. Look down at the floor. Inhale, rise up with the chin. Exhale, chin to chest. Look down at the floor once again. 
And on the next breath cycle, inhale up, exhale, chin to chest. On the next breath cycle, inhale, rise up, gaze looks forward. Now our hands come broad across the collarbones, out to the letter T. Our fingertips are straight out, left and right, palms are facing down. And gently take flight with your arms from your shoulders to your wrists. As you have a straight arm and as if you have wings, finding freedom in the movement of flight, feeling the movement of soaring, traveling, transcending time and space across the dimensions of the here and the now. And on the next breath cycle, we exhale our hands gently down by our side. Inhale our shoulders to our ears, roll them back down our back pocket and release. Inhale our hands up onto our lap. Flip our palms up to receive the gracing blessings of life. And in the sharing of ourselves with others, we give the gift of ourselves to others. To our, and then we share and we receive that gift of others to us. So this exchange, this connectivity of ourselves to the greater whole of all humanity as we exchange ourselves and we exchange others to us. And on the next breath cycle, we bring our hands to our lap. And this is where we can stay in this position, in this open grace position. Or if you'd like to move toward the Tai Chi position of Wu Ji, you take one hand to your lower, to your belly button, either hand, left or right, and the other one over the other palm, back side of the palm. And you can interlock the fingertips, the uh, knuckles, the thumbs, I should say. And this is Wu Ji. Your hand is right at your belly, your energy source, your Tan Qian, and your elbows are out wide. And now we align our back in either the yoga position of Chair Tadasana or Wu Ji from our sits bones to the crown of our head as we ascend and find enlightenment. So from the sits bones to the collarbone, to the collars, the shoulders, to the back of the head, to the occipital lobe, to the crown of our head, we're ascending, elongating the spine as if it's on a golden light, a golden thread. So we're feeling this buoyancy and as we do so, our carriage, our muscular skeletal system is strong. We feel the power and the integrity of our constitution feeling alignment. So we're here in this position of upward and grounding grounding and upward, this dichotomy, this polarity of elongation and yet rootedness. Take a few moments and just notice this bar, body carriage, this structure, this framework. And as we do so, we're noticing now and we turn inwardly to the presence of our breath. So here in this moment, I do invite you to think about closing your eyes or keeping your eyes open. If your eyes are invited to close, you're welcome to experience the many colors of life, that spectrum of the kaleidoscope of the colors coming before you. If your eyes are open, you're focusing in on a drishti, a focal point, softening your gaze and being present. And being present involves focusing in on your breath work. So there's an inhalation and an exhalation, and a natural awareness of your own breath cycle. My voice and I myself am simply a guide, a sherper on the mountain journey to your highest experience of life, your enlightenment. So in this experience of moving towards gentle meditation or stillness, mindful awareness, quiet time, prayer or contemplation, many different languages for sit, sitting and being still, and yet also accepting and receiving information from the greater world, the universe, your higher power. So there's a collection, a gathering. So take a few moments here and now as you find that gentle peace in your own personal journey to breathe. Breathing in and out at your own pace. Slowly, deliberately, with intention and purpose, we find meaning in the power of our breath cycle. 
Take a few moments here and now and just simply breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I will join you and silence my voice, but I will also at some moment in our meditation read a passage about true happiness, accepting true happiness. And that's within you. You are, you hold, you possess, you are true happiness. So take a few moments and just feel the rhythm of your own breath work, the breath cycle, and breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Today's inspirational message is where true happiness lies. True happiness begins the moment you decide to be yourself. The moment you accept all of who you are, despite your imperfections, you realize that happiness has been awaiting you all along. True happiness begins the moment you decide to be yourself, the moment you accept all of who you are, the entirety. Despite your imperfections, you realize that happiness has been awaiting you all along. This is where true happiness lies, accepting oneself. I ask these rhetorical questions that I invite you to think about. Who of me, myself, and or I does this message speak to? Where along my life journey, past, present, or future, shall I invite this message to speak to and through me? Where along my life journey, past, present, or future, shall I invite this message to speak to and through me? Awakening, feeling refreshed, feeling new beginnings, new opportunities, feeling the power of restoration and energy coursing through our life cycle and our journey. We begin to wiggle the fingers on our hands and the toes on our feet. With greater and movement ease, we drop our hands by our side and inhaling our hands up and overhead, clapping above our head. The first chanting word as we bring our thumb knuckles to our heart center, the first chanting word is the word accept. Accept. Inhaling your hands up and over your head, clapping above your head. The second chanting word is the word true. True. Inhaling your hands up and over your head, clapping for the third, announcing your arrival in the cosmos. The third chanting word is the word happiness. Happiness. Accepting true happiness invites us to accept who we are, the entirety, the whole package, the kit and the caboodle, everything. This is me, this is you, this is us. The chanting bells are rung three times in the power of the spirit, mind, and body, finding that unity and that acceptance for all of us and who we are. 
the authenticity, the genuineness. Pausing, believing, breathing, accepting, we bow forward to each other and say, Namaste, peace with you, Shanti, Shalom. Well done, well done. So that's our experience of transitioning and power and movement towards meditation as we move towards movement of the body. So today I want to focus on the following things. So uh, just these are definitely Tai Chi movements, um, opening movement. Palms pushing down, Tai Chi stepping, repulse the monkey. We want to do uh, rooster stands on one leg, and we also want to um, do what's called gathering energy, collecting en energy. So I have my list here, and I know that we'll accomplish it, but I need some reminders every once in a while, so I'll take a quick look. So our hands are on our knees. Let's work on our, our torso from our top of our head down to our toes. As we inhale, grow tall and long. On the next breath cycle, tuck your chin into your chest, look down at your toes. And as you do so, this time, bring your belly button in slightly towards the back of the chair. So we have a, just a little hollow there in the belly. And we round out our spine. On the next breath cycle, we inhale. The gaze looks up, and as our gaze looks up, our belly comes forward a little bit, and we feel the warmth of the sun on our cheeks. On the next breath cycle, tuck our chin into the chest, look down at your toes, belly button comes into the spine and towards the back of the chair, and as we do so, we lift our heels up off the ground. Holding your heels up off the ground, looking down at your toes, on the next breath cycle, our heels come down and our toes come up. Our belly comes out a little bit and our gaze looks up, feeling the warmth of the sun radiating downwards onto our cheeks. On the next breath cycle, the toes come down, the feet come flat, and the gaze looks down towards our toes. Hold the pose, keep breathing. And now we're keeping a straight spine so we're not rounding back. And very gently, we're going to do half circles from where gaze is centered, and now it's going to swing over to the right shoulder, looking over the right side. And now down and up to the left shoulder. And down and over to the left, uh, to the right, excuse me. <clears throat> and back over to the right. Down and over to the left, I guess, so oh, lefts and rights are confusing today. On the next breath cycle, come front and center, grow tall and long, and very, very gently release your hands down by your side. Spirit wave your hands in yogi marching toes. Another slight variation in the um, turning of the body is from the core, the golden light, the spinal column. So the column of our body is going to turn to the right with our hands are down by our side and the fingertips are pointing down very gently. Now we're going to very gently turn and the turn is really from the core which is first the belly and then the ribs, the heart center and the shoulders and then our gaze looks over that right shoulder. So very gently begin to rotate turning to the right and ideally it's on your exhale. And as you turn here, your left hand can come to your right knee or the outside of that knee to get a little bit of leverage going to the right a little bit. Don't go too far. And now on this breath cycle, continue to breathe. And in the next breath cycle, on the next breath, breath cycle, we rotate, come front and center. Grow tall and long, recalibrate the spinal column. And now very gently spinal a spinal twist over to the left from the belly, the ribs, the heart center, the shoulders, and the right hand perhaps comes over the left knee and we look over the left. Hold your pose, keep breathing, believing, 
And on the next breath cycle, we're going to come back, inhaling center again, but now we're going to go back over to the uh, right side again. And as we do so, that left hand crosses midline, the center, and over to the left, to the right knee, and our gaze looks over to the right. And as we do so, now our chin begins to turn towards the right shoulder, and then as that settles, we now turn our eyeballs looking over to the right. So we're going a little bit further with our eyes. And our eyes are looking to the right. Holding your pose, keep breathing for a breath cycle or two. And on the next breath cycle, we release and we gently come back front and center, neutralizing the spine, calibrating, and now going over to the left. We begin to turn to the left and just continue to move from the belly, the ribs, the heart center through the exhale and continue to breathe, of course. And now we begin to turn our chin over the left shoulder. And as we do so, our gaze, our eyes turn to the left as well. So this is a deeper spinal twist. And on the next breath cycle, come back front and center. Hands are on your knees and shake it out. Spirit wave your hands, yogi marching toes. We're going to gently do a side body stretch left and right. So inhaling both hands up, spirit wave your left hand, left hand comes to the left hip, and now teapot these fingertips over to the right side of the room. Your gaze can look down towards the floor on the left side, but there's a curve from your right hip to your right elbow to your right fingertips over to the left. On the next breath cycle, we're gonna come front and center, inhaling up, right hand, right hip, and now left fingertips teapot over to the side. And now we're anchoring from the left hip to the left elbow to the left fingertips, and our gaze is looking down to the right. Holding your pose, keep breathing. On the next breath cycle, inhale, both hands up, Exhale both hands now to cactus arms. And now spirit wave your hands. And we're going to do an early sunrise sunset as we do dancing sun. So we're going to take the right elbow to the right hip, teapot over. And now you know left to left. Left elbow, left hip. And very gently just go side to side. So we're loosening up the spine with both spinal twists and side, side body and we'll also do some forward folds. And we did earlier back bend with camel pose with our hands to the pop, to the um, kidneys, the, the lower back, and come back center and release and shake it out. Very good, very good. Hands come straight out in front of you. Fingertips pointed forward, palms are down, and it's from the shoulders to the wrist to shoulders to the elbows to the wrist that we're going to begin to make circles. So the fingertips come inward and outward, inward and outward. And as we start to do this circle, our wrists get involved with that motion. And our wrists start to follow our shoulders and our elbows. So now our wrists are joining the party in the circus. And really feeling the rotation of that movement from the shoulder to the elbow to the wrist. And so this becomes a full body movement with your arms and your torso straight and strong. And now cycle in the other direction, outward to inward. Now this direction, I should say inward to outward. <clears throat> and on the next breath cycle, we release our hands down by our side and shake it out. Yogi marching toes. Very good, very good. All right, we're going to do a position... Um, called opening movement in Tai Chi, and it involves our hands pretty much in that fashion. So our hands uh, are here down by our side, and the fingertips are pointing down, and our palms are facing inward, okay? In opening movement, it's this first stance of uh, the 24 short form Yang style, and so what we're going to do is basically move our hands upward, and as we do so, we're just going to very gently focus in on cue points. So here we go. What we're going to do is begin 
begin to rotate your hands, your palms back behind you. So follow my hands, they follow and they go backwards so the, back, so the back side of your hands are facing forward. Your palms are facing backward. And now very gently, we from the shoulder to the elbow to the wrist, the hands rise, the arms rise. And as they do so, very gently to shoulder width, shoulder width and shoulder height. At the apex of this motion, our wrist extend and our fingertips extend forward. And now from this position, we drop our elbows down very slowly and our elbows as our elbows drop, our wrists and our hands follow and our hands rest on the side of our body by our legs on two energy spheres. So we're holding energy spheres and that's called the opening movement in the short form. Hold the pose, keep breathing for a breath cycle and then we'll begin again. On the next breath cycle, bring your hands down by your side. So this is really slow, gentle, meditative movement. So here we go. Orient yourself, palms facing back behind you, back side of your hands face forward. Inhaling from the shoulders to the elbows to the wrists, coming up to shoulder height, shoulder width apart. And at the apex, we extend our fingertips and our wrists neutralize. And on the next breath cycle, we exhale, elbows down, and the wrists and the hands follow. So you can see how slow my motions are, my movements. And release down. Now on this third time, I'm going to silence my voice because it really is meditative. And while this video is certainly instructive, I want to include the experience of freedom of movement. So just follow along, pay attention. Well done, well done. So in this series today, what I'd like to do is on the third go around of the movement series, I'd like to be quiet and silent and join in the participation of the unison. All right, the next one we're going to do is um, uh, hugging the tree. Hugging the tree is a, is a meditative stance position. <clears throat> and I encourage you to try to practice this. Let's try two to three minutes. We don't have to do that right now. But increase the incremental in any of these stances for up to five minutes. So for example, hugging the tree, extend your arms straight out by your shoulders. Palms are radiating towards your heart center. Your elbows are dropped as if there's a gentle weight pulling your elbows down. And your hands and your shoulders are about the same height. Your thumbs are up, your pinkies are down. And here is hugging the balloon, hugging the tree. So you're imagining a tree circling your arms and you're hugging it. And in that experience, you can feel the energy radiating between your fingertips. So there's a cycle, a circuit of energy cycling through. So just take a few moments. This is just a stance, S-T-A-N-C-E, stance. It's a position of stillness. We're not moving, we're just holding our hands in this position and just feel Feel this, see if you can feel the intuitiveness, the aura, the energy that's coming and circulating around your arms through your fingertips. On the next breath cycle, we release and shake it out. Well done, well done. Okay, looking at my list here, the next movement that I'd like to do is called Tai Chi walking, Tai Chi stepping. Now, if we were stepping and literally standing up and stepping, we would be moving our arms and our legs. We're gonna do that also, but from the chair. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the right foot forward and put the foot, the sole of the foot on the ground. The left one comes underneath 
the chair. Now you're propping yourself on the ball of the left foot. The right foot is flat. The left hand is swinging out to the side like a hook. So you take your in all of your fingers to touch and your arm comes out to the letter T with a slight bend in the elbow and you form a gentle hook with your wrist as it points down. Now your um, right hand is going to come to the heart. Okay. So this looks kind of strange, but this is the start of Tai Chi walking, Tai Chi stepping. And what we're going to do is first work our hands and then we'll work our feet because they work simultaneously together. So all we're going to do is bring the hand that's out to the hand that's heart at the heart and the other hand comes out to the side. So we're just going to do the hands first and the arms. So all we're going to do is switch hands and make the hook on the other side, your right side. And now switch. And switch. and switch. Now hold this pose. Now we're going to get our feet involved and our legs. So all we're going to do really now is exchange one leg forward and one leg back as we move the arms. So follow along. It's simultaneous. So we bring the hand to the heart and the hand swings out and as we do so we switch our feet positioning. And now let's go back the other direction. Hand to the heart, hand out to the side, switch your feet positioning. Now very gently, just begin to cycle back and forth. You'll find a sense of power and balance coming to you as you step out and find balance in the chair. Beautiful, everybody. Let's go back one more time on either side. <clears throat> and on the next breath cycle, bring both hands to your Tan Chen, your energy source to your belly, and bring both feet stepping in, holding this pose. Keep breathing, a stance, once again a stance, a meditative state, stance, a standing position or a seated position. And just notice and observe your breath. Notice and observe your breath. Very good. And now we're going to circle our breath as our hands come down by our side, palms are facing forward. And as they do so, they rise up out towards the letter T, palm facing forward. And then they radiate upward over our head. And then now our palms orient towards our forehead. And then the energy comes down our spinal column, down the core, the meridian, straight down the center line. Out to the side by our hips, and we circle again two more times. So this is circular, the breath, circle breath in uh, Tai Chi. And then bring your hands to your Tan Chen and pause and believe and breathe. Believe, believe, believe. And on the next breath cycle, release and shake it out. Well done. We're going to set ourselves up here for our intention. So this definitely is really a yoga experience. It's part of the sun salutation modified. Uh, so. We're going to set our intention and that's setting good energy towards someone or something or a greater whole, a group of people. And to begin, we bring our hands to Namaste prayer position and our elbows are pressed out wide. And in this experience, we open the book, open the palms as our elbows touch our side body and the palms facing forward. There in the palms of our hands is an open book, a new story, a new chapter in your journey, your book, your life story. And here in that open book, we're starting to conceptualize and think of someone, a group of people, a thing or an event, and bringing good energy and good karma, good thoughts to that experience. And with that 
we think of someone in our heart, whether it's past, present, or future, and we invite them into our story. And as we do so, we wrap our fingertips around that person or group of people, cocooning it with our hands as in a seed. And then we rise up with our fingertips, rising up above our head, reaching, reaching, reaching. And now the back side of our hands touch and we swan dive. Our arms come out, we release the uh, intention to the universe, and our heart center comes down towards our knees. Our fingertips come towards our toes, our shins, our ankles, our knees, wherever they're coming down here, to our lower leg, and we look down at our toes. Hold the pose, keep breathing and believing. Move your knees left and right, feeling a little bit of uh, movement in that lower back. And on the next breath cycle, we come back to neutral. Push down into the four corners of the feet. We rise up, reach up, inhaling, up we go. Clapping above our head. And now in the next chanting word, we're going to bring the thumb knuckles to our heart center, back to our theme, back to our theme chant. And that is accept. Accept. Inhale your fingertips up, rising, taking that intention, opening, swan dive, leading with the heart towards the knees, fingertips to the shoelaces, and we do another forward fold as the sun has set. So the sun, says, sun salutation is the sun rising and the sun setting. And now move your knees left and right, side to side, recognizing that we're in orbit around our sun in the greater solar system. And feel that movement that you are always in movement. Your life is never static. And on the next breath cycle, coming back to neutral, rising up, reaching up, inhaling, up we go, clapping above our head. And the next chanting word is the word true. True. Inhaling your hands up and over your head, reaching, 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 back side of the hands touch, swan dive, lead with the heart towards the knees, forward fold, here we go. And very, very gently come back down to your knees, shift your knees left and right, side to side as best as you can. Feel the movement of life, feel the movement, the rhythm, the dance. Join with a new partner in that experience and that's yourself. And on the next breath cycle, we rise up with great hope, infinite hope and possibilities. We clap above our head. And on the next chanting word, we bring our thumb knuckles to our heart center in the chant of happiness. Happiness. On the next breath cycle, bring your right hand to your heart, the left hand swings out to the side. And like Tai Chi walking, all we're going to do is exchange the hand to the heart and the other hand comes swinging out to the side. And as we do so, we're going to say important words of movement of the intention. So as a as in Tai Chi and Yoga, there's similarities and differences. <clears throat> so here we go. We're going to swing the hand out to the side. And as we do so, <clears throat> we're going to say some important words. <clears throat> the first word is send forth, send out, <clears throat> listen, give voice, breathe, believe hand over hand to the heart holding your pose keep breathing believing extending your hand straight out in front of you there's your intention rise it up and now tucking your chin into your chest in humility and humbleness we three say three more important words the first word is gratitude grace blessing Bring your hands to prayer namaste positioning, holding the pose, keep breathing, inviting that energy from your heart to the universe, to your higher power with that intention, and we release and shake it out.
Yogi marching toes, spirit wave your hands. Well done, well done. <clears throat> We're going to do, uh, um, uh, it's kind of similar to yoga crunches, but this is um, rooster stands on one leg. Rooster stands on one leg. So we're going to just do on parallel sides, and we'll do it three times on either side. So what we're going to do is take the right hand up towards the sky. The left hand comes to the left hip. And all we're going to do is push gently down, but not all the way down. We're keeping a slight bend in that elbow. We're holding that energy sphere, that ball. And all we're going to do is take the right elbow to the right knee as we crunch, but this is called rooster stands on one leg. And we're going to hold the elbow and the knee connection just for a few seconds on either side, on all sides. So here we go. Ready? Inhale and crunch elbow to knee. Hold the pose. Fingertips are up and the one hand is holding that energy sphere. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale and hold, flex your toe to your nose, fingertips up towards the ceiling, gaze is forward, rooster stands on one leg, and technically you're standing on your left leg. On the next breath cycle, inhale up, exhale, release the hand down. Hands down by your side, spirit wave your hands. Well done. Let's go to the left side. Right hand comes to the uh, right hip. Left hand comes up towards the sky. So it's left elbow, left knee. Hold the energy sphere right there. On the next breath cycle, elbow to knee and touch and hold for one second. Inhale up. Exhale, touch. Inhale up, exhale, touch and hold, hold your pose, keep breathing, flex your toe to your nose, rooster stands on one leg, your right leg. On the next breath cycle, inhale up, exhale, release your hand down by your sides, spirit wave your hands and yogi marching toes, feel a little bit of freedom there, well done, well done. Let's hold the moon. Let's hold the moon. So we hold the moon, and we're going to rise up with the full moon on this one. So we've done this position in the series. Here, as we hold the moon, the energy is radiating towards our heart center. The palms are facing toward the heart. The thumbs are up. The elbows are bent. And here in the circleness of our arms is the full moon. And we're going to raise the moon up by gently bringing our hands into our heart center, or to our belly of Tantian. And now they raise up to our heart center. And now we do a thumb to pinky. We orient our thumb towards our pinky. And our palms come forward. And now we raise our palms and our arms straight up towards the ceiling. And now we're holding the moon, the full moon, up above our head. So the next time you see a full moon, you may need to do this position. And on the next breath cycle, bring your hands out by the side and back in. And we, be, we repeat, inward towards the belly button, rise up, spinning at heart center, palms forward, palms up, raise the moon, full moon up, and then out to the side, and in. One more time, up, out, out to the side, and in. And release. Well done. Shake it out. Okay. Um, let's, uh, let's do some leg exercises. I feel the need to do some leg. We haven't done much lower, lower extremity, lower leg things. So let's, uh, let's work our ankle to our knee to our hip. So in that movement, we're going to do the Tai Chi version. So bring your hand to your, the front of your knee and very gently make ankle rotations in one direction and ankle rotations in the opposite direction. 
Holding your leg up, take your hands from your knee to under behind, underneath or behind the knee and allow the lower leg to dangle from the knee to the ankle. And it's from the knee that we're going to gently make circles. And so the, thing, the uh, toes are forming that circle below you there on a piece of paper, imagining a piece of paper, and then cycling in the opposite direction. Remember those old school compasses? And on the next breath cycle, release that leg and shake it out. So it's kind of like that compass point, drawing that circle. We're going to take that left, the right knee into the chest with the right hand. Up it comes as we exhale. Take your left hand to the left hip. Now all we're going to do is point our toe down and as we do so, we take our right toe to strike the ground in front of us. Keep your heel up and now the leg comes up and it comes out to the side to touch down on the right side. Toes touch and up it comes and toes come down to the center. And up the leg comes. Toes out to the side and down. Leg comes up. Toes come down center. One more time. Quiet. And down that foot comes. Well done. Let's try the other side, the left side. We take our hands to our, the front of the knee and lift the leg up as we exhale. And now we begin to make circles with that ankle in one direction. And ankle rotations in the opposite direction. And on the next breath cycle, we're going to take our hands to behind the knee. So we're dangling the left leg from the knee to the ankle and now cycle in one direction like that compass point, that old school compass. And really the circle represents right, finding a new direction in your orientation of holding a compass, finding a true north as we switch directions. So in all of life we're moving and changing directions. Life is never static. So that acceptance of true happiness, which is our theme today, really welcomes the essence of the authenticity, the genuineness of who we are in deciding and following our new directions. There's a lot to accept in that experience, but yet we're welcoming who we are, all of it, all of our entity. Let's take that right knee into the chest with the hand uh, at the front of the knee, the left left uh, right hand to the hip point your toes your left toes and now we touch down with our left toes lift the leg up and out to the side and touch down up and center and touch down up and out to the side and touch down up and out and down and now quiet silence in my voice and release. Well done. The next movement is uh, toe in and toe out. So I'm just preparing myself with my reading material. Toe in and toe out. What we're going to do is very gently bring our hands to our hips. We're going to start with the right side. All we are going to do is anchor in that right uh, heel. This left leg stays where it is. The right heel anchors and the toes on the right side turn out. So follow along. Lift the toes up and they turn out to the side. And as we do so, we lean forward with our torso towards our knee. Just a little bit. And now we come back up and center with our torso and the toe follows up and turns in towards our left toes. And as we do so, we shift weight to the right hip. So we lean back a little bit. And now we come back to the neutral spine with our torso. The toes come up and then they go out to the side, toe out, lean forward towards that knee. 
and inhale with our torso and we follow with our toes towards our left toes and lean back in that right hip. And let's do that one more time. Toe up and out, forward with our heart towards our knees. Inhale, uh, toes follow towards our left toes. Sit back on the right hip. And now come back up and center, uh, forward with your toes flat, flat on the floor. And now we've just got to go on the other side. It's toe in and toe out on the left side. So hands are on our hips, neutralize your spine, growing tall and long. Spin on the heel of the left foot, toes out, lean forward towards that left knee with your heart. Inhale, center, toes follow inward, sit back on the left hip. Up we come, out the toes come, lead with the heart towards the knee. And up we come, toe comes in, sit back on the left hip. Once again, up we come, toe comes out, lead with the heart towards the uh, knee. And up we come, toe comes in towards the right toes and sit back on the left hip. And now inhale up and center, toes and feet come straight to Chair Tadasana, pause and believe, breathe, observe your breath, and release and shake it out. So what that involved, that was simply called toe in and toe out, that's just the subtlety of some ankle movements and also shifting your weight. So both are critical components in moving in Tai Chi. Let's try one more experience here with the movement and watching our time. And while time is infinite and our time is in, in, has no boundaries, we welcome the experience of kind of keeping to an hour, an hour session. Now we're going to work on gentleness of heel to toe strike. Heel to toe strike. So when we're walking in a natural fashion, um, we're noticing and observing that heel to toe strike as we strike the ground. So what we're going to do is just gently lift the right foot off the ground and now it's the toe to heel strike. The, toe, the heel, heel strikes the ground and very gently so does eventually the toe. So the foot becomes flat on the floor and then finally the toes come on the ground. And as we step up, we lift the heel off the ground and then finally the toe comes off the ground. And now let's step back down. Heel, gently bringing down the toe. And now we lift the heel off the ground as we step up and lift the toes off the ground. One more time. Heel strikes the ground, rolling towards the toes. <clears throat> and now the heel comes off the ground and the toes follow. Wonderful. Let's try it on the left side. Same principles, same thing, right? Lift the leg up off the ground <clears throat> and now the heel strikes the ground and we roll towards the toes. Heel comes off the ground and the toe lifts up off the ground. Heel strikes the ground, toes, toes come up, I mean heel comes up, toes come up. Heel strikes the ground, toes, heel comes off the ground, followed by the toes, and release and shake it out. Well done, well done. Well, we're going to do um, gathering energy here. Um, actually, let's do repulse the monkey. Let's do the repulse the monkey pose. This is kind of a little bit involved with our hands also. Now, what we're going to do is uh, bring the right hand forward in front of us. The left hand comes out to the letter T 
<clears throat> palm facing up, bend your elbow, your fingertips come to your left ear. So very gently, all we are going to do is move the hands. So one hand comes forward and the other one swings down and up to our ear. So watch this. Left hand extends forward. And as that does, we drop our right hand down, palm facing up, swings out to the side to the letter T, and now it comes to our ear, our right ear. This is called repulse the monkey with your hands. Now the right hand sweeps forward, the left hand spins, palms facing up, it comes down and out, fingertips to your left ear. And now forward, palm of the right side orients up, down and out to the side, to the ear. So in this position, our front hand is facing forward, our fingertips are up about uh, shoulder width or hip, shoulder width or uh, heart center height. And we have a slight bend in the elbow on the left side. And here we obviously have a, a significant elbow bend with our fingertips towards our ear. Now we're going to switch again. Right hand comes forward, left hand spins open, hand comes down, hand swings out to the side touching the left ear, pushing forward with the left, hand drops down, out to the side, And now bring both hands to your tanchyan. Beautiful. And now at this point, what we're going to do is called collecting or gathering energy. We're going to collect that from four different elements. The sun, the air and the water, and the earth. Sun, air, water, earth. So we're going to do it three different motions because the air and the water are at the horizon, your destiny, your movement on the surface of life. So your hands come to, um, to your Tan Chen, palms are facing up. We're going to gather energy from the sun. We rise up with our hands toward our heart center, and as they are coming towards our heart, ten, heart center, they rotate thumb to picky, pinky, much like we did with raising the moon. And now our hands come up towards our head, Above our head, palms are facing upward. And now the hands come down and face towards our forehead. And we move our fingers, twinkle our fingers down towards our heart as our hands come down from the shoulders to elbows to the wrists. We're just going to do this two more times. Hands come up to heart center, rotating up. Feeling the power of the sun, warming, collecting energy, twinkling your fingertips, rays of sunshine down through the corridor, the column, the rod, through that essence, your spinal column, and then up again, nice and quietly. Now gathering energy from the air and the water at the horizon. Hands come at, again at heart center height. Spin thumb, thumb to pinky. Pinky they're going to be up and we sweep back with our hands. Palms are out to the side and when they come out to the letter T our thumbs come up and our palms are forward and now we swoop that energy of the air and the water at the horizon, your destiny, back into your energy source. And back up and out. Sweeping back and coming forward. Once again, quiet now, silencing my voice. Now gathering energy from the earth. Hands rise up towards heart center, thumb to pinky, and we push forward, planting the seeds of life into the rich soil. Fingertips in, 
raking in the abundance and the harvest and bringing it in and down. Rising up, spinning forward, fingertips in, the abundance and the harvest, and down. Seeding and harvesting, abundance. Rolling your energy, your energy ball, right there around your heart center, your tonsure and your belly button, your navel, getting your elbows involved, and making that energy ball smaller and smaller until it's really compact, and now absorb it into your tonsure by your belly button, Whoop. and release. Well done. We're going to come and close out our practice here with um, Wu Ji. So feet are flat on the floor, anchoring and securing. The alignment of the back, the neck, and the head elevating upwards. The crown, the halo, rising and ascending. Hands are on your Tan Qian, your belly button, your navel, storing up that energy. And as our framework is strong, our Wuji is open, the expansiveness is coming into our heart center, our essence, and our, and our every single cell of our body, we're welcoming that energy to reserves, into our reserves. So take a few moments here now and just feel the connection of your framework to your breath work. So connect and observe and Witness that inhalation and the exhalation, your own natural rhythm of your own breath work. Breathing in and breathing out at your own pace, your own journey, the ebbs and the flows, the comings and the goings, the here's and the now's, the past, the present, and the future merging at every single breath cycle. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Take a few moments as I silence my voice to enjoy and observe, witness the breath. True happiness lies. True happiness begins the moment you decide to be yourself. The moment you accept all of who you are, despite your imperfections, you realize that happiness has been awaiting you all along. Accept true happiness. Some rhetorical open-ended questions of who of me, myself, and or I does this message speak to? Where along my life journey of the past, the present, or the future shall I invite this message to speak to and through me? Awakening, new beginnings, new opportunities of growth and move fulfillment. We begin to wiggle the fingers on our hands and the toes on our feet. We drop our hands down by our side and inhaling our hands up and over our head, clapping above our head. The first chanting word is we bring our thumb knuckles to our heart center. The first chanting word is the word accept. Accept. Inhaling your hands up and over your head, clapping above your head. The second chanting word is the word true. True. Inhaling your hands up and over your head, clapping your hands above your head for the third time, the announcing the arrival of your presence 
in the cosmos, the third chanting word is the word happiness. Happiness. True happiness welcomes us here, now, and always, transcends time and space. Welcome true happiness, welcome yourself, authentic and genuine. The chanting bells are rung three times in the power of the spirit, mind, and body coming together to form one, your wellness, and the wellness for all people. Pausing, believing, breathing, inviting the sounds to resonate, reverberate, dissipate all throughout our cells, our body, our essence, and to the greater cosmos. We bow forward to each other and say namaste, peace, shanti, shalom. Namaste everyone, peace. Great class, thank you so much everybody. We've learned a lot here in our Tai Chi Yoga Fusion experience. Thank you so much. It's always an honor and a privilege. Come again, join me and uh, be well. Take care now everybody, bye-bye.